What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out We Are Developmental by none other than Promo Joe. If you know the reference, recently before Clash at the Castle, uh, Triple H had an interview where he said that um, NXT was a developmental uh, brand. So he was talking about in the relations of AEW beating uh, NXT in the ratings, and he basically kind of like made it seem as if it wasn't a big deal like congratulations they beat our developmental which we know is it's major cap triple h come on bro they were never treated as developmental i'm just saying so um i'm sure they're gonna make fun of that should be a good one appreciate all the love and support guys almost at 100k let's do the damn thing this should be a good one nxt went head to head with AEW. yep we couldn't beat him we're gonna punish it was that a real thing no nonsense no, no look we do, uh, people put so much pressure on this, this, all this competitive wars. It never was that. Look, first of all, they beat our developmental system. Good for them. Right? Now with, with NXT as a brand <laughs> and now having three distinct brands of Raw, SmackDown, and NXT. But eventually this wouldn't be <laughs> developmental anymore. It's not developmental anymore. This is not <laughs> You knew, you knew he was going to find these clips. <laughs> In a lot of ways, equivalent to Raw, to SmackDown. There are now three brands Raw, SmackDown, NXT. Reckon with in the future. And I had to drive home with just my thoughts. It's okay, Chicago. It's not the first time I've been beat up in Cleveland. But, 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 but. We ain't in mm. Chicago right now, are we? No, no, no. We are in crappy Cleveland. A disgusting place, but a place rich in historical significance in the timeline of that gentleman's career. But we'll get to that. Mm. When's the last time you were in Cleveland? Uh, I, I guess when I walked out. So it was that night. Yeah. Damn. So January 2014. You were in that building, you walked out. When you got the date for, you know, your debut and it's 2.03 in Cleveland, did it hit you right away that it's Cleveland and it's that arena? Damn. Dang, bro. Cleveland has not been nice to see on Punk. Holy. Two minutes and 14 seconds later, three minutes and not. Wow. Yeah. Cleveland is CM Punk's kryptonite. Wow. It's all over. Mickey, go. CM Punk. The high angle. Slip. Oh, it's over. It's over. I'm going to Wow. He dominates Punk. For the drip stick. Yeah, let's let's I get that drip stick on layaway, okay? You, you don't <laughs> tug on Superman's cape. You don't poke it. Hello, darkness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yep. <laughs> also next week. Yes, let's forget all about that, please. <laughs> oh, look at that. Matt reverses. He stalls the headset. Next up. Going for the springboard. Oh. Unbelievable counter. Ricochet counter. He's got him up for the tombstone side out. Top rope. Oh, no. It's damn near the same match. Shush, shush. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely <laughs> brought back memories. Yeah, this, Take this whole out of the ring. spot right here. Later. That's be taking Osprey out of the ring, but back. Bro, he was up there for like 30 A few seconds. Later. And they still got hit with the move. Eventually. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Be careful. They were just still there. I mean, technically. <laughs> How much danger he is in just being here. Yeah, I got I like the reference you there. You lost in Cleveland, so what? So what? In your own words. In your own words, life isn't about how many times you get knocked down. Listen, life's about, you know, falling down and getting up. It doesn't matter how many times you get knocked down. It's how many times you get up. And you fucking Ooh. get up. 
<laughs> nice one, brother. <laughs> bro, brother. Bro. I said, nice, brother. Brother. Bro, 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 bro. Fucking nice one, brother. <laughs> what? The butcher coming, nigga. What? This was a cool little moment, too. Brought back memories. Do we pay attention to AEW? Do I watch it on a week to week basis? No. Am I aware of what's happening there? To a degree, right? Not, I'm not, I'm not following everything they do. Um, there's sometimes I'll, I'll see that somebody would say, well, it's very similar to what they do. I'm like, oh, shit. I just, Whoa. <laughs> I had no idea. Yeah. You know, um, wow. at the end of the day, you have to focus on what you're doing. Right? You have to focus on your product. <laughs> no matter what. The internet, bro. Y'all are so, y'all are the greatest detectives. <laughs> People on the internet just are the greatest detectives. Everybody else is doing. Good. Go oh, this is so there? good. Yeah, I'm still here. Hey, pussy, are you still there? Yep, yep. A lot of people were saying this is in reference to how they played off on uh, the whole <laughs> uh, John Jones and Cormier situation. <laughs> That's cool, bro. I'm here. The Undisputed Era, you know, going through the war games and all that stuff. Um, I would, I would go to war for that man. <laughs> um, if he tells me like listen I need you to run through that wall I'm gonna try if he tells me he thinks I can do it like alright I, I will try really Excalibur round kick head kick There's tr there truly is no surgery to correct that kick it's actually a head kick if, uh, if I don't fall over throwing it <laughs> Thinking GTS, Bobby just held oh, oh, he got it. Pumped up the, the GTS. But it was that bad knee the knee's been working on. He's got to crawl over, trying to make a cover. Buck makes the crawl, the cover, and the win. What? Pump was lucky there. So well, I mean, once again, it's just changing the narrative and changing the history, which makes me laugh because when it started, it was not a development. So it was a third brand and it's not a marathon. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon and all the other bullshit that they said. So, of course, we beat the developmental, whatever you want to call it. Who gives a shit? That was such old news, mm. uh, you know, and the show sucks. NXT sucks. It's it's not a good show. We talk about my family. Now <laughs> talk about your family. <laughs> oh, wait, you ain't got one because your wife divorced you and took your kids and they don't want to see your bitch ass anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, man, remember you would come to town and everybody would lose their fucking mind? You couldn't hear your mother calling you, but you hear that ice cream man three blocks away. I'm talking to the business, chocolate and vanilla, right? I want chocolate, you want vanilla. One of us has to pick a flavor. He would always pick the flavor. Now it's my turn to pick the flavor. Mm. Um, it's all good. It's all ice cream. Right, but it's it's my time to pick the flavor, and, and I have to be confident in those decisions. And I can't look back and say, well, what would Vince want to have for a flavor, you know? Because it it just wouldn't be authentic then. <laughs> Sixteen screws put into my foot. Wow. Which, real quick, is sixteen more times than this fat guy has ever gotten screwed in his life. <laughs> Uh oh, the boxes. Oh yeah, he the timing on that was not there. He didn't really he got he got him in the back though. Oh, the camera. Oh the camera angle just showing it. Yep, that was not good. <laughs> oh my god! The boot to the face was brutal. Oh 
Come on, man. You got to make contact. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> what is happening there, bro? What is going on? He was able to recover it for the most part. Very impressive strength. <laughs> what is that? What was... Oh. We're very strategic about where we put our vents and how. Not because we think, ooh, we'll try to block that, or ooh, we think we'll do this. Like, No, we're going to put them in the places where we think we will do the best business. Time to play the game. <laughs> hey man this was a good video i like what triple h is doing with wwe as a whole but come on man come on they were never developmental in your eyes at the beginning yes but when they start having takeover shows and people were talking about nxt having the best takeover events of whatever wrestling weekend were they developmental there they weren't just saying so comment down below let me know what was your favorite clip from this video man i appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing on the channel road to 100k appreciate y'all kicking with me see you on the next one